Eye Glaucoma Presents, a video series sponsored by Allergan, Glaucos, Ivantis, Nova Eye, and Sight Sciences. I'm your host, Dr. Constance Okeke, glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon, and we're here to get to the point and share surgical learnings and pearls in MIGS. In today's video, the surgical device featured is the Zen Gel Stent by Allergan. If you missed the first MIGS Success Surgical Secrets Spotlight video on Zen, check it out in the description box below or the card above. A common challenge seen with this device is difficulty seeing the Zen Gel Stent tip after insertion under the conjunctiva. Sometimes there can be subconjunctival heme or conjunctival melanosis or thick tenons tissue which can obscure the view of the tip. A simple solution is to simply darken the tip of the Zen Gel Stent with a marking pen prior to the insertion to help easily identify the location of the stent under the conjunctiva. Once the Zen Gel Stent is in position, an important point is to assess the mobility of the Zen tip. You want to swipe the tip of the Zen under the conjunctiva side to side like a windshield wiper to see whether it is freely mobile or entangled in Tenon's tissue. After this, it is important also to assess the other tip of the Zen in the AC. You want to see that it is in good position, at least one millimeters in length in the AC and away from any other structures like the iris. This can be done with a gonio prism or with a direct view if the tip is easily visible. Another common challenge can be the displacement of the ideal Zen position after insertion. This can happen for many reasons, such as trying to assess adequate positioning of the stent in the subconjunctival space where the Zen is accidentally pushed into the anterior chamber, or with insert a retraction that is too fast, or with unsteady hands. Regardless of the reason, if stent disinsertion does happen, the next step to correct the issue is to use an intraocular microforceps to gently grab the stent and pull it out. It can then be placed again in the inserter and guided in with a Wexel sponge. Be sure to pull back the blue slider of the inserter prior to this in order to make space for the Zen to enter the tip. One more important point has to do with the use of Minomycin C. Realize that you can titrate the amount of Minomycin C to increase or decrease your dosage and or concentration depending on the patient and the risk of scarring. For example, you may use more Minomycin C in a case where there has been a previous surgery or in a pigmented patient who has a high risk of scar formation. Also remember to inject the mitomycin C about 10 millimeters away from the limbus, then use an instrument to spread it posteriorly to create a pocket for the bleb. This helps to prevent anterior ischemic blebs. Well, that's all the Zen Gel Stent tips for now. If you found benefit in that review of common challenges and solutions for the Zen Gel Stent, please like the video and share with colleagues. We hope this video will help on your journey to MIGS surgical success. Subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss the next video in the series. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place of glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.